just want my jolly breakfast drink to be beautiful. <laughs> Today, I'm baking up a 65-year-old breakfast recipe from Betty Crocker's cookbook for boys and girls. This video is part of a collaboration with Justina from Justina's Country Kitchen. She loves vintage cookbooks the way that I do, and when I saw that she just picked up a copy of this very same book, I knew we had to team up. If you like vintage recipes and home cooking, you should definitely check out her channel. So what am I making today from this book? Today, I'm going to be preparing Jolly breakfast ring. This is a sweet breakfast ring. This looks like something that maybe you would serve on a special occasion, Christmas morning, Easter brunch, perhaps for someone's birthday. I think it looks really great and it seems pretty easy to prepare as well. This is a bisquick recipe. We love a bisquick recipe. I can't wait to see how this turns out, so let's get started. So the first thing to do, heat the oven to 400, which I have done. Put two tablespoons of melted butter in the bottom of a nine inch ring mold. I don't have a nine inch ring mold. Um, I'm gonna be using a bunt pan and it is a little bit bigger than nine inches so I'm hopeful that this is going to work and I'm not going to ruin the recipe. <laughs> so I have two tablespoons of melted butter right here so go ahead and pour that in. You're kind of building this breakfast ring from the top down so if you think about it what I just poured in the bottom is going to be the top. Sprinkle in two tablespoons of brown sugar nice and even. We're gonna have a beautiful caramelized topping on this breakfast ring. 12 cherries, candied or maraschino. I got some maraschino cherries. I didn't realize it, but they have the stems. So I'm gonna have to remove those as I place them. And this is really a decorative element. So place them evenly around. Move down. Oh, this is gonna be so pretty. And next we have a quarter of a cup of chopped nuts. I'm using walnuts because that's what I have on hand, but I think pecans would also be lovely in this. The risk of messing this up. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we have right now. In a small bowl, mix half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and three tablespoons of chopped nuts. We need more chopped nuts. <laughs> okay. So I'm mixing half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and three tablespoons of chopped nuts. You have to use a lot of bowls for this recipe. <laughs> one more bowl. In another small bowl, put two cups of bisquick. Two. Stir in two thirds of a cup of milk. Beat 15 strokes, it will be stiff but sticky. Okay, so I guess I need to count. One, two. Fourteen. Fifteen. I'm switching to a spatula. I'm just checking to make sure that all of the bisquick at the bottom has been incorporated. It's getting serious. I have to take this dough, form it into 12 balls, and then dip those balls into melted butter. This is starting to sound very familiar. I've seen people do this with canned biscuits, so this is this is probably before canned biscuits. How should I do this? Get my station set up. Dough ball, butter, sugar, place in ring mold. Oh yeah, I'm getting monster fingers here. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to do that with the rest of this and I'll be right back. Clean things up a little bit, clean my hands off, and here we are. So now this needs to bake for 25 to 30 minutes. just out of the oven, I baked this for exactly 25 minutes and it's perfect. If you want your kitchen to smell amazing, you should definitely make this. I don't think you can go wrong with butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. I'm really excited to unpan this. I did find my cake stand. It says turn upside down on a plate while warm. It's very warm. I did get my little offset spatula in case I need some help getting it out of here. I also don't wanna drop this on the floor. little pat for good luck here. <gasps> Wait, did it come out? Hold on. Mostly. Oh no, I, I need to do some strategic scooping. We'll fix it, we'll fix it. There was no greasing to this. I think the butter and brown sugar was supposed to do the trick there. But you know, I think it wouldn't hurt to grease this. Gotta make it look good though, gotta do it. I'm, you know, it has a good side. It has a good side, it has a not as good side. We'll put this bit at the back. We're just, we're gonna cover this up with some nuts. I also used a pan that was slightly too big, so some of this is my fault. <laughs> but she's cute, look at her. She's, whoa. Not a perfect circle, but you can kind of like fudge it and make it so. Now before I cut into this, how did I do? 
so this is this is what it's supposed to look like versus what it actually looks like. Mine's a little messy, I'll admit, but I think if I had used a smaller ring mold, we probably would have been more spot on. I'm so excited to try this because it did smell so good baking. I'm gonna take some from the messy side. <laughs> Also, I'm gonna take two maraschino cherries. So it is Bisquick, so it's gonna be a little bit biscuit-esque, more than like a cinnamon roll kind of thing. But I think that still, it's gonna mean that it's good. Very exciting. Mmm. <laughs> it's delicious, of course it is. And it's still warm too, so that helps. This would make a great little treat for a special breakfast, maybe a little coffee break. Even if we did have to dirty several bowls, it was still really easy. And I think a kid would enjoy making this. Rolling those dough balls and like dipping them in butter and stuff. Yeah, it got a little messy, but I think that's probably the part that a kid would enjoy the most. Mm, highly recommend. You should definitely make this one. Thank you so much to Justina from Justina's Country Kitchen for doing this collaboration with me. You should definitely check out her channel and find out what she made from this cookbook. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope Maybe it even brought back some happy memories for you. Have you ever had this or did you make this as a kid? I would love to hear about it, so please leave me a comment. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button below. I would love to have you. I make videos about food, vintage cookbooks, and retro recipes every single week. Thanks again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.